name is Mary and I work at the Beaufort branch of the Carter County Public Library. Week six of the summer reading program, Tales and Tales, and we've got a fun craft project for you to do at home on those rainy afternoons. String art, something that was very popular earlier in the 60s and 70s, but it's coming back. You can do it with nails and a board. A really simple, easy way to get your kids involved and not bored is with straight pens and a cardboard. And I'll show you in a few moments how we put that together. But because of the tails and tails and we love our pets, I got a few string art designs for your pet. You can do this one. You can get the template right online. Just put in string art with a heart and a paw and it comes right out free. You could actually put your dog's name or your pet's name on here and personalize it. This is the one I'll show you how to make where you take your animal's picture and you actually put it on there. It may look like a black blob to somebody, but I know it's my dog's face. So string art is a fun project. We do have books here in the library, very simple books with simple designs that you can copy out. We have some that may be a little bit more involved. And even though they may show nails, they can still be done with the straight pins, which is a fun and easy way to do it. Supplies you have around the house, good way to spend an afternoon. Come by the library and get some ideas on what you'd like to do, or maybe use our computers to print off your pet's picture. And hope you, we hope you enjoy this fun and easy project. String art is a fun and easy craft to do. It was really popular back in the 70s, but it seems to be making a resurgence. But one of the best things about it is the things you need to do string art, you probably already have on hand. You, it can be done with a hammer and tacks on board, or you can actually do it the way we're going to show you how, is the base is actually cardboard. You just take, glue some cardboard together to the about a half an inch, and then you cover it. Uh, you can cover it with felt. This is the glue on stick on felt. Added a piece of cork board for this one. And then you just take your design, put it on the board. There's a lot of different designs you can use. Today we're going to do one that has a pet uh, motive on it. But there are a lot of designs online that you can get and print right off. Put your design on the board. You use pins, regular straight pins, instead of tacks. I like to use a um, pair of pliers just to help me hold them. But it's a really easy craft to do. And what we're going to show you today, this is one we've done already with just a piece of glue on cork board, actually a duct tape trim. But I'm going to show you how you can do one with your pet, how to do your pet's portrait in string art. So what you do is you print off a picture of your pet that you've got on your phone, which we know you have one on there. You can come by the library and print them off pretty easy. You take and you place it on your board. This is, like I said, just a board that's been covered with the adhesive felt. And then you start the process of putting in your pins. Now, I like to use this because it helps me hold them. Go ahead and dump some pins out in a container like this. Makes it easier to get. These items here, like we said, cardboard you have around your house. If you don't have some pins, you can get some really cheap at like a, just a dollar store. Any embroidery thread is really good for these. It's very colorful. A lightweight yarn will work, as well as crocheting thread. But once you get your design like you want it, I'm going to center it on the paper, and then you just start putting the pins in around it. You may want to use a thimble and try to get your pins very, very straight because that looks a lot better once you get it straight. And it might be a good idea to put a pin in the center of it to hold it or else a small piece of tape so it doesn't go shifting around as you're trying to put the pins in it. So this is the part that takes a little bit of time. Just go around the outside edge about every quarter inch and insert a pin. And you want to get them into the same depth.
Okay, as you finish putting in your pins, remember to take out the template before you start doing any stringing because if you don't, it's actually impossible to get your template out afterwards. So now you're ready to start stringing. That's what you have to work with here. Pick a corner. Make your string work in a reasonable length, like a couple feet string, pull it off, try not to get a knot in it. Bring it off now. Start on a corner and tie about, get about an inch and a half, and tie a knot around one of your pins. Works best if you tie it to the inside. Actually, tie the knot on the string and slip it over the pin. That might be easier. Okay. And then you just start weaving in and out of these pins right here to form your outline first. In and out to show the outline of your picture. This is why it's also important to have your pins the same height because when you're looping it's just real, it's real easy to miss them if they're kind of different heights. Almost have an outline here. Okay, so once you get the outline, you just start filling in. You can go random, across, backwards. You just want to keep going and going and going and filling in. Don't pull too tightly on your pins. You don't want them to collapse on you. You may want to loop around a pin every once in a while just to help it hold it. But just start going back and forth all around your design, filling in with the color you have desired. So once you have gone back and forth and filled in as much color as you like on your design, you can either just knot off the string on the end, or I find it easier sometimes to just tuck it under using um, a pin or something. Just tuck it under and it will stay right there. Your string art is now ready to be hung or displayed. You can put a little uh, hook on the back of it or just display it on a shelf. We hope you enjoy this craft and you'll give it a try. Thank you for joining us and watching this video on how to do string art. I hope you'll give it a try. I hope it's something you'll enjoy. It's a good way to use up some of that leftover string at the house. But come by the library, get a book, print a pattern, enjoy the books and things that we have here, and pick up some of the other fun things we have for our summer reading program.